bottom end. He's in there, might get there. In fact, and does score. What a start to the game. Hey guys, it's Gimface here. Welcome back to episode 18 of my Manchester City career. And today it's episode, we've got three games to play. The first game is against Leicester City. That's in the league for us to play. It's a home match for us as well. Just a couple of days after that disappointing loss to Liverpool in the final of the Cup, which is obviously the last episode. Also, we're going into March in today's episode. Two games to play in March against Chelsea and Arsenal. So two massive, massive games for us as well. Again, fairly close together, so it's going to be a huge challenge for us in, in today's episode. The first game, we've got about four or five days rest, and then we've got three uh, days before the next game after that against Arsenal. So, some tough games in today's episode. Expecting it to be uh, very tough for us to be able to try and win all three games. We're going to try, but we'll wait and find out uh, how we come out of things and hopefully come out of things with nine points. But it'll be very tough, so we'll wait and find out anyway. Before we get into things, though, if we could try and get 100 likes on today's episode, I'd really appreciate it. Also, feel free, if you're new to the channel, to go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and that you're actually fantastic. Trying to hit 15,000 subscribers, and we're slowly getting there. You guys can obviously quicken things up a little bit if you'd like to by hitting that button. I'd really appreciate it. Let's crack on with today's episode, and this is the to go into the opening game against Leicester. Edison starts in goal, Dalo, Otamendi, Hernandez and Delph in defence, Davenport, Yaya Torre and Silva in midfield, Ronaldo Silva as the right wing and Mendy on the left hand side, the Guerrero starting up front for us. So a change team, definitely some players in very different positions, obviously Mendy playing as a left winger, Davenport starting up the different, Silva out on the right, uh, so we will wait to find out how we get on, plenty of different changes to the bench as well, a lot of tired players since that final, really took it out of our players against Liverpool in that game. So uh, they've got to recover now for the next match against Chelsea and obviously that game against Arsenal afterwards. Uh, but first of all, this game against Leicester with a rotated team. Obviously not the way that we want to try and bounce back uh, from the Liverpool game. Ideally it's with your starting eleven, but we can't. So we'll go ahead with this, see how we get on. I think we've still got enough quality in this team by far, so hopefully still get a win. Okay, then here we go. Tough match at the Etihad against Leicester City. Let's find out how we get on. We've got to get ourselves a victory somehow. Um, it's obviously tough with the players we have out, but I'm sure we'll find a way. Silva looking into the middle. Good ball in. Mendy at the back post trying to get there and does... Oh, brilliant connection from Mendy. That's one advantage we certainly will have on that left-hand side. A player that really wants to attack every ball in the air. He certainly has done there. It's flying the back of the net until it was saved by Kasper Schmeichel. And for a corner, David Silva to deliver now into the front post. Otamendi's in there. Might get there. In fact, and does score. What a start to the game. Otamendi does it from the corner. And we're winning the match 1-0. Brilliant delivery there from David Silva. And 11 minutes in. We've got ourselves in front already. Really good start to the game. We've looked good going, uh, going forward so far. We've obviously been strong in the air. A couple of opportunities there. And We've taken one of them as well through Otamendi. Brilliant connection. No stopping that one in the match. 1-0. Silver now into Mendy. Oh, couldn't quite finish it off on his right foot. Was he even onside? He was apparently onside as well. 27 minutes in. Thought that would have been the second goal. So close to it as well. Mendy to look good though. Playing as our left winger in this game. Silver, that's good. Davenport getting forward to shoot. Over the bar. Good run forward there from Davenport. Doesn't do it very often, which is what I like about him. He sits there and defends properly. Uh, but a good opportunity for him there. Just scoops over the bar. David Silva to deliver a corner. Can he pick anybody out here? Otamendi is again in there. Connects it yet again, but this time straight to Schmeichel. Half time still in the game 1 0. Obviously, delighted to be in front at this stage in the match. Obviously, uh, impressed with the way we've played considering the, the team we have out. Uh, we need to obviously add a second goal. Um, so, you know, that's something we need to try and do as soon as possible. 15 minutes in is really where we need to be 2 0 by, I'd say. Uh, we've got to make sure we try and do that. Don't leave it until the end. We usually do, but we'll wait and find out anyway whether we're able to get an early one. Aww. Equaliser for Leicester, it's completely unnecessary as well, it's Mahrez that gets the goal, we've not cleared it properly, Delph just passed it straight to Mahrez, and it's too easy for him to finish there. There's not many chances, that's what I'm more frustrated about, it's the first of very few chances, and they've taken it frustrating for us, because after all our hard work of trying to get in front and stay in the lead, uh, we've suddenly just, uh, just out of nowhere conceded. Aguero allowed to turn and shoot, oh, off the bar, Sergio Aguero. Oh, so close to a goal to put his back in front. I mean, very nice for us to get a goal there. Hasn't quite happened. Still remains one all. Still putting the pressure on them, though. David Silva now looking for a chip. And how has he managed to stop that from going through? Still wins it back. Still got it here. Mendy now looking to Aguero to Yaya Torre. Oh, he heads it wide. Thought he'd scored. We've got three changes. Goulam, Fernandinho and Diaz all to come. We'll take off Yaya Torre, Silva and David Silva as well. So we're going to take off those three guys. Slight change of uh, tactics, really. Slight change of sort of the way we're going to try and play here. Uh, Diaz probably going for more cross into the back post for Mendy. Fernandinho is going to come on. Delph will go and play in midfield. Obviously, Goulon can be on to play as a left back. So a, a slight switch around, bringing a bit more energy in the midfield to try and win back the ball. 25 minutes left. We've got ourselves a corner here. Uh, Fernandinho hopefully going to pick somebody out. Maybe Otamendi again if we can. Otamendi was there as well, went for it. Clash of heads in the middle, but luckily for us, uh, nothing too serious in there. Got to still try and keep the, the attack alive. 
into Aguero. He's going to look back to Otamendi. Oh, looking for a second goal. Won't quite get it yet. Okay, final t uh, couple of changes that we're going to make. Obviously, formation change here for us. We're going to more of a three at the back. Fendier is going to sit in front of the defence. Down low, kind of hang around there as well. But as you can see, pushing players forward here. 11 minutes to go. Hopefully, going to still find a second goal for us. Trying to put a lot of um, extra width out uh, on the pitch is what we're going to try and aim to do. I, I still expect Leicester City to continue attacking. So, it's a bit risky what I've done here. Um, but I'm prepared to do it just because we want all three points, not just one. Diaz is going to switch it over to Fabian Delph. He's in a good position here. Delph going to try and come inside to shoot. Got blocked by two players. Shows you how much they're still trying to cling on to a point here. Delph now going to look into the middle. Good ball in, but Schmeichel will save it. Gulam switching it over. Diaz now trying to make his uh, way over to that side and cross into the middle maybe. Mendy! Oh, great connection with the header, but still can't find the back of that hand cleared. Oh, such a good header of the ball is Mendy, but again, couldn't find the second goal somehow. We've pressed him and pressed him. We've tried to create as many chances as possible, but still just not been enough for us to win this game. Uh, I think it's going to be one all at this rate. Very few chances left, if any. Sergio Aguero is still trying to get there. Diaz with a heavy touch. Looking inside to Aguero. Delph still trying to keep it alive. Back heel. It didn't work. That's it. Drawing the game one all. Drop two points there. Frustrating for us. But yeah, it is what it is. Sometimes you don't get uh, the chance to go your way. It didn't quite happen for us. Schmeichel played really well. And so yeah, drop two points. I think the stats pretty much sort that game. One shot for Leicester, one shot on target, one goal. Uh, 15 shots for us, seven on target, just the one goal still. Um, yeah, pretty much summer power dominance there and our inability to, to finish the chances. Schmeichel played very well though, so it's probably the main reason why they kept level. We're going to this game against Chelsea now. We're going to change the formation around, change the team a little bit as well. Edison in goal as ever though. Uh, we've got that lot right back, company, Stones, Mendy and Gulam in our defence as well. For Nadine, De Bruyne and Gundogan as our three midfield and two up front, Sané and Sanchez. So we'll go with that, see so we get on in this game. Uh, but like I said, Chelsea obviously going to play their 5-2 three or whatever you want to call it that they play so we're going to have to try and counteract it ourselves we're going to go fight at the back ourselves see how we get on with that and uh, yeah this is the bench I've gone with as well pretty strong bench a couple of players there that maybe could have started if we were playing a slightly different formation Sterling probably be one of them that might have started Agro was going to start he gets put on the bench for now just because Leroy Sané I think deserved a game so we'll go with that team see we have to against Chelsea try and beat them hopefully get ourselves a good three points and obviously a good victory here as well okay here we go game against Chelsea got to try and redeem ourselves after a disappointing and frustrating game against Leicester obviously that we should have won in the last match got to try and beat them got to try and get ourselves some goals in the game as well fed up of not managing to take our chances hopefully we can in this game oh what a pass through Leroy Sané it's got to be a goal Sané oh off the post in what a start but I'm not going to celebrate too much because we need a second goal straight away need a second goal uh, we've seen a goal is not enough from us we've done it before we've scored early we've not added to it need to add to it now 17 minutes in Sané gets us off to a good start but we need more we need more than just a goal Sanchez well played. Now into Leroy Sané. Can he get the second? Yes, he has. That's all that we needed. Sané gets the second goal. And we've doubled our lead just a few minutes later. Leroy Sané does it. And it's onto a hat-trick already. 21 minutes in. And we'll win this game 2-0. Really good at the start of the match. And I don't know what's happened to Chelsea. Defensively, they seem a little all over the place. I think it's Kante gives away the ball here. Sanchez with a good press on him. And it gives us a two-goal lead there with a good finish round. Courtois. Oof, that's a good start. Much better start than the previous game. What's happened? What's happened? What an embarrassment. Straight from kickoff. It happens, and I'm fed up of saying it, to be honest. I'm fed up of hearing my own voice at the moment because it just keeps on happening where they do it straight from kickoff. Our defenders try and step in and try and do something, can't do a thing about it. I mean, you watch, there's like five players. Companies in absolute no man's land, doesn't do a thing, literally stands still. Watch company. Watch. What? It's not involved in the game. What is going on? Five people he goes past, if not more. I mean, it's ludicrous, isn't it? This is just such a badly put together game. Sanchez trying to get us one back, saved by Courtois. Can't say running into the box, company. I mean, this is the sort of the issue we have here. When, when we don't do anything, they just run past the score. We try and do something, it trips up and it fouls them. And, and so we're in kind of a catch 22 situation where we just can't do either, really. So, uh, yeah, frustrating one for us. It's a penalty. Um, obviously, he misses the ball, so it should be a penalty. But my point is the fact that standing tackles are ridiculously hard on this game. Has that scores two all? Um, yeah, let's just move on. Sane switching out here to Sanchez. Sanchez looks to nick it off David Luiz. Sanchez to shoot, and we've got ourselves back in front. Three two. Again, not going to celebrate too much because things can change so much uh, on this game. So three minutes left of the first half. We've got ourselves back in front. Obviously, great news, but. 
yes, like I say, still a long way to go in this game. Three minutes to go of the first half still. Half time, still winning the game 3 2. Obviously, five goals in the first half. Quite a, well, an exciting first half from a neutral perspective, but a bit of a frustrating one from ours. Obviously, scoring three goals is great, but conceding two like we did was very frustrating for us. So, uh, yeah, I can't be too pleased with the way things are at the moment. I should be doing so much better. I shouldn't have conceded so many times, but it is what it is. Again, we're finding ourselves in front, but still a long way to go in the game. Sane look to play through Gundogan, that's better. Needs to finish it. Well, does everything but that, really, doesn't he? Terrible. Okay, first two changes, Gundogan and Danilo to come off. That means we'll bring on Raheem Sterling, also Fabian Delph as well. Change of formation, 4-1-4-1. Gives them, hopefully a little bit more strength in midfield there. Also want to bring on some wingers as well. Sane's going to go play as a striker, and we'll see how that goes. Now, maybe a little bit risky to do that when you're winning the game, to sort of decide to actually take someone out of defence. But we're trying anyway. I want to bring on a winger um, and hopefully cause them a few more issues out wide. Okay, final change. Yeah, sorry, on De Bruyne off. Obviously a slight change again of formation. Uh, Delph going to go play as a left wing back now. We'll see how we get on. Gulam obviously plays our right wing back. And uh, yeah, Sané's still up front. We'll find out how it goes. Final seven minutes, getting to sort of the latter stage of the game. Got ourselves a free kick here. Very much trying to run down the clock. I can't see us getting a fourth, but we'll see what happens from the free kick. Be a little bit too far out really for me from this sort of range. Uh, maybe Yaya over this one if we can, but still, yeah, way too far out. 29 yards, we'll see. It's on target. It's it's better than over, but still not great. 3-2 victory, it finishes. Got ourselves a good three points, obviously fought hard for that one. I mean, we deserve to win, I think. But I was very annoyed by the way we conceded those two goals in the first half. Uh, and so I think just based from that, we should have gone to win the game. We did as well. Uh, Sally put in a good performance according to the ratings. And uh, yeah, very happy overall to get three points. Play drills, and uh, we got Ruiz going up there to 70 overall. Fantastic week for him. Finally gets him up to the 70s, and we might look to change it out soon, if not next week, maybe. So the final game of today's episode against Arsenal. This is who we're going to go with. Again, a fight the back formation, 5-3-2. It's pretty changed from the last game they played against Chelsea. This is who I've gone with. Edison starts in goal. Humphreys Grant is our right back. Otamendi, Tosin, Hernandez, and Delph is out of the rest of our defence. Darren Port, yeah, Torre and Silver in midfield. Then we've got Sterling and Aguero starting as our two strikers. So plenty of change in the team. Obviously played against Chelsea just a few days ago. Um, so now we've got to try and get ourselves uh, a good victory here against Arsenal. We'll wait to find out how he gets on. Obviously, um, the defence isn't ideal, but we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, it's going to be good enough to uh, get ourselves three points. Arsenal look got Royce for this game, so it could be an interesting one. Lacazette, I also expect to start as well. So, quite an attacking team. They're playing with a 5-2-3, I think, formation. So, we'll wait to find out how we cope with that. Hopefully, we're going to get ourselves a victory. Obviously, we'll play a fight at the back as well in this game. Uh, probably with less experienced players at the back, but we'll wait and find out. And, uh, yeah, hopefully the attack's going to be good enough as well, because obviously that has been heavily changed. Sterling plays a striker in this game. is a little bit different for us, but uh, hopefully he can cause him some issues, and he might start off well, save by check. Yeah, it's all right. Going to look over the top of Humphreys Grant. Not the sort of overlapping uh, fullback that you'd expect here, but he's going to go for a cross anyway. So Aguero is going to head it down to Sterling and couldn't quite connect to it properly. Tricky one to take a shot from, but a uh, good opportunity there. Good run, actually, from the fullback. Yeah, yeah, over to Humphreys Grant. He was again got forward, looking for a cross into Sterling. Couldn't quite win it again. Yeah, Torre down to Sterling, and this time he scores. What a finish. He's onside as well. Brilliant left foot volley, and it's come from a Yaya Torre header. Sterling does it, and we've got ourselves in front 16 minutes into this game. Another good run. Again, it's all coming from Humphreys Grant, who's going on the overlap. He's not the fastest of um, of right backs at all. He's more of a centre back, to be honest, and hence he's not particularly fast, but he's doing a great job on the overlap here. Keeps getting forward. Good delivery initially into Sterling, who couldn't quite win it, but Yaya did. And Sterling kept himself on side, ready for a volley. Pass better check, and we're winning the game 1 0. What a start to the game! What a good finish as well from Sterling. And a silver now to Fabian Delph has got the overlap. Delph looking into the middle. Aguero was nearly there. Humphreys Grant again getting into the box. He's coming forward loads for us at the moment, and uh, just unfortunately couldn't quite pick him out there. Sterling. Rado Silva to shoot his right foot, deflects out for a corner, putting Arsenal under a lot of pressure. They're struggling to get out into our half. And at the moment, we are playing the better of the two teams, and for some reason, that's not a corner. It must have taken a deflection of our player, which I didn't quite see. Oh no, how has this happened? Luckily, the finish is dreadful there from Eleni. Somehow, they just came inside, got past all the defenders, we couldn't cope with them, and uh, luckily for us, the shot's off target. Oh, chance. Where's this come from? That is ridiculous. Thought they'd equalised. How has that even happened? So strange they can just get past our defenders so easily like that. It's really poor defending. Luckily, Theo Walcott can't finish it at all. I mean, it's dreadful from Theo Walcott. And it's a goal kick. Aguero. Go on. Oh, Aguero scores. That's come from nowhere. Just on the stroke of half time. So Aguero just takes a shot from range. And it finds the back of the net. It's 2-0. And like I say, on the stroke of half time, we doubled our lead. Very happy about that. 
He literally comes from nothing, he just picks up the ball, a little bit of space, thought I'd go for it, was expecting a bit of a block and maybe a corner from it, but somehow I managed to find the space around the defender to take the shot and uh, find the back of the net as well. Check can't get there, it's just a little bit over him and we're winning the game 2-0, great way to end the first half. Half time, still win the game 2-0, a very complete uh, performance from us so far, very happy with that. Really impressed actually with a few different players and it always seems to happen when we rotate the team like this. Where we get some sort of like, sometimes it happens anyway, where we get some really good performances that you probably wouldn't expect given the team that we had out. It's certainly one of those sort of performances as well, especially from that defence. Humphreys Grant getting forward really well on that right hand side. Davenport again playing really well as our holder midfielder. He's actually making it seem like we probably don't need a holder midfielder now. If we can trade up and get into a good level, then he might not even be, we might even need to sign one next season. So he's just played that well and he's probably one of our better midfielders right now, to be honest. Davenport is doing such a good job in midfield. Oh, it's a poor challenge. It's a penalty. Oh, so frustrating. Tossing there, just diving in. Thought it was on the edge of the box, to be honest, but I think the referee's pointed to the spot. Tossing just diving in, trying to win back the ball, but Coughlin's given it away too quickly for us. Royce now to take the penalty. Could they pull one back here early on in the first half? In the second half, Royce. Oh, hits the bar. And after a goal kick as well, even better. Terrible penalty there from Royce. Okay, all three changes here. Gonna bring on Ruiz, uh, Gunduan, and also Gulam as well. We'll take Viaga Torre, Humphreys Grant, and Bernardo Silva. Still gonna go play midfield a little bit now. Guerrero's gonna go alongside Ruiz up front, and uh, Gulam's gonna go, go play as our right wing back. Humphreys Grant coming off because of the yellow card, partly, and also because he's getting a little bit tired as well, so I think it makes sense to do that as we get into the latter stages. Was actually gonna put Raheem Sterling as our right wing back, but decided against it in the end. Didn't want to really try and risk that. I thought we needed somebody else as the right wing back, and Gulam fits it perfectly. Gundogan, oh, another goal, Gundogan does it, the substitute scores it to finish off the game with a, a third goal here for us, 84 minutes in, and Gundogan has done it again from range, very similar to Aguero's goal, actually a little bit further, I think, onto the right-hand side, and uh, somehow managed to curl past Czech yet again. It's kind of come from nothing as well, just kind of had a couple of corners, and suddenly the space opened up for Gundogan to take a shot, and he curls it round past the Czech into back net perfectly. It's 3-0, and that's the game over now for us in the 85th minute. Much better performance in this game than the Chelsea match we've managed to um, start to actually get a couple of goals in the game still look solid in defense as well and actually perform pretty well throughout most of the match Delph over to Ruiz really his first touch of the ball it's not a great one either but it's over to Gulam now who's going to cross into Sterling oh good header there from Raheem Sterling considering how far out he was check got there though that's a 3-0 victory very happy with that obviously gets us three points good way to end today's episode as well uh, a solid victory over Arsenal there I think the first goal from Sterling was certainly sort of uh, got us off to a good start, I think. There, yeah, to win back the header, and it's a great finish from Sterling as well. He's got our highest rating, 9.6, in this game, so very, very happy with his performance. I think overall formation worked well, the tactics that we implemented worked well. I think we just managed to cancel last a lot. They didn't really have that many uh, click attacks anyway. I don't think from their uh, from their attackers in particular, Royce didn't see that much, and Lacazette, especially not in the second half, those guys were really sort of um, left out of the game quite a lot by us. So very happy with the way we performed, and that will pretty much conclude today's episode. Tossing happy they played in that uh, last game. Diaz are happy that he's not played much. I think he was on the bench, I think. Um, but yeah, just didn't really fit the sort of style of the way I wanted to play in that last game. I wanted to play with a little bit more strength in midfield with the IR in there in Davenport. So he didn't go in there, but um, he will certainly play probably against, maybe even against Stoke here in this match. We'll wait and find out. But that is everything for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If we could try and get 100 likes on today's episode, I'd really appreciate it. Also, feel free, if you're new to the channel, to go ahead, hit the subscribe button ball down below, and that'd be absolutely fantastic. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.